Hey, Kurt here again. Um, this video will hopefully, it's a little long, it's about an hour and a half, will hopefully bring all of the pieces together. So in the best case scenario, prior to you watching this video, you will have done all of the other trainings about the background and the inspection, the templates, ISN, Spectora, all of that's done and done. And hopefully you'll have done a handful, five, six, um, practice inspections. At the end of the day, this video is really helpful, but only you through repetition going through houses, going through the template is what's going to make you quicker. Um, after you've done it a bunch of times, watch this video, you're going to get a whole bunch of ideas that help you kind of cheat a little bit and get the, the whole thing done quickly. And you'll see that even though I'm making a video while I'm doing the inspection, I just don't mess around. There's no chatting. There's no figuring stuff out. There's just go next, 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 next. So that being said, uh, the goal is to get a normal size house that doesn't have a million things wrong with it under two hours. That's reasonable. And then we've got a couple of things while you're going through this. Um, pull up the, you should have spec, the Spectora app on your phone so that you're following along um, and you can kind of feel like you're writing the report with me as you watch it so you know where things are going. And then the other things you should have open on your computer are these two links, training report and report with it all. So what are those? The training report is the actual report, is the real report that was generated from this inspection that we did, okay? And then the second report is again this is this is something you should be studying in all of your free time this is basically every template item 97 98 of all every template item and basically every single thing that could be written down on a house um so this is kind of like the bible that you you know you should be going through so with that being said um oh one last tip i'll give you uh, what I like to do on longer training sessions, again, everybody learns a little bit differently. I will put this on one and a half times speed. <clears throat> if I feel like I didn't quite pay enough attention or I missed something, I'll back it up a little bit and re-listen to it a second time. But if I, you know, it, it makes the person who's talking sound funny, but you get through it a lot quicker. And I would watch this, you know, in your first six months in, of business or as an inspector, I mean, you really should probably watch this three, four times. You're, you're probably going to pick up something new uh, every time you watch it. Um, so that's it. Uh, enjoy it and we'll uh, see you at the next inspection. Hey, it's Kurt here with Inspections Over Coffee. We're going to show how to do a, I don't know, about 2,500 square foot house in the super thorough less than two hours, um, and then all the other things that we do. So what I've already done before now is I reviewed my notes from ISN. I know the names of the people showing up, the names of the realtor. I know whether the house is going to be vacant or not. Had the uh, super code to get in there, and um, it is 3.04, 3.05, and so the clients are coming to 5. we got an hour and 55 minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I, while I was in there, some cheats I did, I started to turn on all the lights, all the fans, all the everything. Um, I saw two thermostats, so I turned those down. So as we walk around with this one or two air conditioners, um, we will we can get quick videos of those to save for later. Um, and we got a 2019 house here, so I don't expect a lot of things wrong with it unless um, you know unless it's been neglected by the people that live here, or I'd be looking for uh, builder type issues, so uh, drainage and just things that builders don't always think about. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my four elevation photos, and then I'm also gonna take one photo in front of the house for Instagram and for Google My Business. So we'll get Mike in on this one. We'll give a thumbs up. This is where we give a shout out to the uh, to the realtor. All right, so that way when I get back inside out of the sunlight, we'll throw that on Instagram and congratulate the realtor. And then we will uh, put it on our Google My Business for geo tracking. So four elevations, we get the front, the two sides and the back of the house. We got two walls here. So I'm gonna get the, uh, the back, let me get the side walls from behind so we can see more of the walls. So the key to getting this all done in two hours so I got here about eight minutes early, but I had all my equipment in by the time um, actually three o'clock. And again, I just don't dilly dally. Okay, no, no messing around. I'm all ready to go. So we got solar. So when I get into the uh, inspection app, I'll be adding the solar section. 
And I'm already getting the sense of the house. It's in pretty nice shape. Looks like whoever lived here kept it in pretty good shape. So then a little bit of a cheat here. I'm going to take a video of the air conditioner. You got a video of the air conditioner operating. It's not making any weird noises. And in order to get ahead, that's my first photo for recall check. A couple of things I've also already done. I've already pulled the build facts report, dropped it in. Deleted the sections that we're not going to be using. I might not have unlocked this door though. So that drives me crazy. That would have saved me 20 seconds. You gotta remember every three times you do something in the inspection that saves you 20 seconds, you save one minute. So if you make what's the math on that? 24 things that take you 20 seconds longer, that's uh that's eight minutes you added to your inspection. So, again, elevation photos first, recall check second. I've already got the photo of the front of the house, add appliance, air conditioner, Lennox, and take it from, the, from there. All right, now we've got a water heater by Renai, and then we've got the photo here. Again, we know that everything's pretty much 2019, so I'm gonna have a bit of a head start on the whole house. And then just to, again, to give myself a cheat, I'm gonna take a picture of the whole thing. Okay. Is there a washer dryer? Nope, all right. So then all I have left for recall check is the furnace. Um, and did you bring the ladder? I did. So if I had brought the ladder in, I already looked to see where the attic was. So I usually will take the ladder right to the attic. So then I'll have to think about that later. Now we've only seen one air conditioning unit. Several, or at least two thermostats thus far which means that not a surprise in a 2019 house, we have a damper system, but we're not onto that quite yet. So I just had an interesting conversation with somebody that said, well, if your inspector went on the roof, we didn't have any broken tiles. So it must've been your inspector who broke the tiles. It wasn't us, it was another roof and we didn't even go on there. Another reason the drone is really smart. So, get the drone ready. Hopefully we're not near an airport. I'll steal a, uh, a little inspections over coffee. And while I'm waiting for that to boot up, I'll see if I have time. Uh, to go on Instagram, congratulate Praveen. So I just shared that on Instagram. So another thing you would have had to do if this was a new realtor, you would have had to go on and find, see if you could find them on Instagram before you came out to the house. Then I'm gonna jump right up, since I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna jump into 